um, long time no see. Um, it's it's been a really long time, and I feel really like new and awkward all over again. So I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna be odd in this video. Granted, I am in real life anyway. So, um, but yeah. Hi, welcome. I'm happy you're here. <laughs> So quickly, I have just a couple of life updates um, since it has been so long. I'll put up the time frame for you lovely people who just want to watch the haul. Um, so yeah, I'll just whip through it real quick. So first up, you may have noticed I am somewhere else. And yes, my partner and I ended up moving house. We had to move pretty quickly. So we moved in with a family member of his and um, we live in the country now. It's like a rural property. Um, so I pay extra for shipping uh, and um, yeah, it's it's like it's one hour away from the city center where I used to live so it's not like super far you know as our life is still mainly in the city center that's where my partner works and that's where I go to university um, but yeah it's sweet as the house is beautiful so I feel really like lucky and grateful that I get to live here for a little while because yeah it's just it's really nice um, and there's lots of land and there's animals and our kitty cats so we had two indoor cats and one outdoor um, and so they came with us of course indoor kitty cats are now outdoor kitty cats so like at the beginning they stayed inside for a wee while and then we let them out you know a little bit with us like we used to in the town and then that was it they were just they were allowed to come and go as they please and they absolutely love it we've noticed they've gotten a lot more agile or like better at doing things like when the, they started climbing these trees like they were the first trees that they had properly climbed like we we did not have trees that size in the city um and so when they started climbing the trees they were kind of like really awkward at it um but they're really good now now they're like Shoo! they shoot up like like regular cats i suppose um so yeah it's been really nice uh what's another update um oh i completed my first year of university so Woo! Yay! Um, congratulations me! I was really anxious to start university. First to even get in, you know, I had to pass an interview and do these like exam things and um, yeah, so this whole time I've been like, oh I can't believe I'm actually in university and I completed my first year and I, I didn't fail anything. I actually did really well, which was very surprising for me. I've been out of, you know, proper education for 10 years you know I got expelled from high school a couple times so I didn't finish so I was really anxious about what uh, what I'd be academically capable to, to do you know two more years to go um, which is cool bananas and that means I also did my first uh, professional placement which was working in a preschool um, so I'm gonna be a preschool teacher and it was everything I I fell in love with those kids and Am I gonna cry? No, I did cry on my last day because I really loved it. I loved it so much and <laughs> sorry. Um, I really, it's, I didn't realize, but it's my passion, man. Well, I thought it might be, but you know, when you're studying something, you can love that, but then when you physically do it every single day, it can be a completely different thing. And yeah, I just, I really loved it and I can't wait. I can't wait to be, you know, qualified teacher and be able to, to go back out there. Um, my next placement will be next year, so that will be amazing too, I hope. But um, yes, okay, so there was that update. Maybe there's something else, let me think. Our anime idol dance group has started practicing again as we have a performance coming up in December. So that's very exciting. I do love dancing with my friends. You know, regardless if I'm actually good, um, I'm not naturally, but I try my best and, you know, that's that's as good as it gets really. Um, so that's been really lovely, I have been enjoying that a lot. I just remembered yesterday I was meant to go to dance practice, but my car broke down on the motorway. So there's another update, now I don't have a car, um, but such is life sometimes. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to borrow one perhaps. Uh, We'll deal with that next time I need to go into town, which is in a few days. Anyways, um, I guess I guess we can hop into it. I feel like those were all of my updates. Yup, um, I'm wearing pajamas on the bottom. I thought maybe that's important for you to know. I'm comfortable. 
<laughs> okay, okay, let's just get into it. So this haul is from Taobao, of course, my favorite. Um, I do get questions on how do you shop from Taobao. And so the thing is they don't ship outside of China. You have to use a shopping service or shipping service. Um, and also you have to use Google Chrome so that it uh, automatically translates the page for you. But yeah, there are no doubt a lot of videos out there on how to use some shopping services if you want to shop from Taobao. I don't, I don't really know um, because I get my friends to uh, kind of do it for me. We tend to go in an order together and then someone else sorts out the like shipping situation. So I'm very uh, yeah, grateful to have my friends who help me with that. Um, but yeah, let's, let's do it. Okay, I don't know what to start with. It's a bit exciting. Um, oh, I will say all of these things that I've bought Gosh, no, okay, excuse me. The majority of these things that I've bought um, are to create a new coordinate, yay! And um, this one is going to be a cinema roll themed coordinate. So, cinema roll is my favorite Sanrio character. I absolutely love him. I went to the cafe in Japan, it was everything. And yeah, sorry, just reminiscing a little bit. So I'm gonna start with an item which I've actually worn one time. Um, there are two items in this whole haul which I used before showing you guys. Um, oops, but yes, I wore these to a photo shoot I just had in the weekend. Now, are you ready for them? These are probably my new favorite shoes ever. Bum -ba -da -bum. Oh my gosh, can you see these glorious beings? Okay, so we'll just look at one up close. So it's this fabulous platform, very nice and high, really shiny. It's got scalloped edges all over the place, which I adore, as well as this like laced pleather detail, some gorgeous bows, and a little like love heart shaped buckle. So cute. Now they attach like this, which is honestly all shoes should do this. But you know, instead of undoing the buckle every five seconds, you just have the little snap buttons that you can do. So all of these are snap buttons, which is, I wasn't even showing the camera. <laughs> all of these are little snap buttons, which is like the handiest thing ever. And they are so gorgeous. I'm in love with these shoes. They have to be my new favorite. I would love these in every single color. Could you imagine? Um, so these of course are this beautiful blue white combo to go with cinema roll. I think I have them here. Oh, I do. Can we see? Totally matchy. Um, so yeah, these worked out at, oh, I have it on my phone, hang on. And I'm doing everything in US dollars. I'm in New Zealand, Aotearoa, um, but yeah, most of you are in the States. So these worked out at 28 uh, US dollars. Cheap as chips, oh my lord. So reasonable. <gasps> I love these. <laughs> So next item I'll show you will be the other item that I actually use um, before showing you guys. Um, and so it's a <gasps> parasol. I wanted a, is it parasol or parasol? I think it's soul. I wanted a parasol for the longest of times. Oh my gosh, I love this one. And this one is, it's honestly just for show really, um, because as you can see, it's just lace, so there is no like actual sun protection. Um, so it's just cute. Uh, but yes, I wore this to, or I used this at our um, Halloween Lolita meetup that we had, the annual meetup. It was so much fun. I love it. Um, and in New Zealand, it's uh, it's like really hot during Halloween. It's like our spring, summerish kind of time. Um, so yeah. I, I use this. Where am I going? I don't know. This is gorgeous. I'll show you some footage of it opening outside because I, I don't want to open it inside. I'm not into that. So this fabulous parasol, which is just so cute. Look, it even has lace on the handle, if you can see, and this little frilly bit, and like the frilly bit at the top. And when it opens, which I'll show you outside, but it's like a button push activate open. Is that English? Um, you push the button and it's like, bam! like opens instantly, which I love. It feels really powerful somehow. Um, but yes, this glorious being, this was like $5.30 US. 5.30 US, sorry. Words are sounding weird out of my mouth. Um, so reasonable, oh my gosh. Now the prices I'm giving you, by the way, you still have to add shipping. So um, it's just the flat cost of the item. But yes, amazing, amazing score. Next item I figured would keep in theme and 
Bum -ba -bum. It's another parasol. I still feel like I'm saying that word weird. Um, yay, cute. And so this one comes with a little uh, cover and Sorry, noisy. Here it is. It still has the plastic on the handle. Ooh, of course. This one has a sticker saying that it is actually UV protecting um, and it's not see through lace like my other one. So this one should actually protect you against the sun. I've not opened it up. Um, so I'm excited to do so, but of course we will do that outside so you can see it's just nice and roughly It's kind of this off-white or cream I don't know whereas this one is like totally stark white if that's the word you can see the difference when they're together So sometimes it's kind of hard to match whites. What am I kidding? It's always hard to kind of match whitey cream things, but Anyways, I'm very excited to have this parasol because we do have a lot of meetups during, you know, spring, summertime and our, we have no ozone layer here and so our sun burns you in like five minutes. I shall open it outside to show you. Parasol? See, I, I don't know what I'm saying, do I? Okay, next item. Wait, 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 what is, how much did this one cost? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> so this one was much dearer and this was 27.15 US. 27 bucks really. Um, so yes, yes, we'll look at it outside. So I'll do my glasses next, starting with bum, 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 these three. Often, sorry, crunchy. Often if I find a blouse that I really think I love the look of, um, I will buy it in a couple of colorways if I can afford to do so. Um, so that was the case with this blouse here. I thought she was cute and so we got it in blue, <laughs> white and black as well. Man. Sometimes I forget how crazy cheap some things are. These blouses were four dollars, like four US dollars. <sighs> Mate, no wonder I got three different colors. Um, okay, okay, let's start with this one. Sorry. So if you can kind of see, it's this nice mesh material, which I adore. It keeps me like cool in my outfits, I suppose. It has little Peter Pan collar and it's kind of cropped perhaps um, and yeah it's very simple very simple and beautiful I noticed the button is sewn in with white thread on this black blouse which just seems just crazy I don't know what that's about um, so I will probably what is this unpick it and sew it back on with black because that will just bug me do you even need the button oh no yeah it does do up this little bit okay so I'll totally sew that back on um but yeah nah even the sleeves like are a little bit poofy and the, the lace that it has around the edges is quite cute mm. so that's the black one here is the white version exactly the same just in white which i think looks really sweet the button is sewn in with white thread so that one's sweet as there is a bunch of um and that was the same on the black one i noticed but can you see like there's this folded out, folded over material around the seam? So I feel like I would trim that down because otherwise it's like quite substantially, obviously chunky. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to cut that and they might leave that like that for you to cut yourself. Kind of like if you ever buy pants and they don't, they don't cut open the buttonhole. It's kind of to prove that like nobody's worn it before. Um, I remember I complained when I got a pair of pants like that. I was like, Phew. What is this? And they were like, no, it's meant to be like that. Um, so yeah, here's the white one. Very cute. Lucky last is the baby blue one, which I adore. I feel like this is my favorite one. I just, I really love this color. Sax in Lolita has always, or it's been like the first color I ever gravitated to. I felt most comfortable in it. And I just, oh, it's such a beautiful color. I really adore it. And so this one's the same. That button's sewn in with white. It does have that extra kind of folded over fabric that I will trim down but yeah it's precious as I love these blouses like this I use them a lot in my like regular muggle outfits I suppose you know like a lot of spaghetti strap dresses I'll chuck you know one of these lovely cute things underneath it and just yeah make it cute as so yes these are my blouses I got some other ones too um, and I'm not sure what I want to pair with my cinema roll cord um, we'll find out though so on to the next one. I got these two. Um, I don't really remember what they look like, but I think these are the same because the fabric looks very similar. So let's start with this one. 
So here it is, and it's a long sleeved blouse. Ooh, I definitely wanted some long sleeve blouses. I don't have any in my collection at the moment. Um, this would be the closest to it. And these are princess sleeves which are everything oh my gosh um <laughs> but yes no i remember looking at these on the internet now i wanted some casual you know actual full covering uh sleeves um so i got these now the neck looks quite like a nice scoop neck to be honest so that's quite lovely we'll leave some more room for some accessories the pattern can you see it's kind of got like little pokey dot bits throughout it which is really cute feels really soft and so did those other blouses actually like they're gonna be soft on the skin and saying that I feel like these this one's slightly softer than the other one actually um, and so it comes in at the wrists nice and rouged and the bottom a little bit too it's not crop I don't think by the time I get it on maybe it does put like finish above my belly button but very cute and here is the white version of that blouse as well exactly the same fabric looks the same the ruching at the top or the frill all is the same and it feels very lovely and soft just like the other one and yeah super cute these will be really nice to wear in the summertime as well just to get that super harsh sun off your skin a little bit the majority of the blouses i own are all this kind of mesh sheer material and i just i adore blouses with this texture i guess it's because i like you're wearing a lot of layers so for me i feel like i keep just nice and cool in these um these kind of mesh blouses so these mesh blouses were also four dollars four us dollars my gosh that's amazing um so yeah and this is the lucky last blouse of my haul. It must have been dear because I only have one. <laughs> I do always forget like what I've ordered or what things look like exactly, you know, because a wee bit of time passes. And then even after I collect the items like from my friends, even more time passes before I'm like able to like film um, a haul because I, I love sharing it with you guys. So I totally forget what some things are. Um, but far out, ooh, this blouse looks fancy actually. This is the blouse here. So another one with this nice sheer material. You can see Peter Pan kind of roughly Peter Pan collar at the top. The back actually is like a little bit open and then does it have a button? Yes, yes it does. His lovely little like pearl button for you to close it up. That's amazing. It's much nicer getting things over your head when they give you a little bit of allowance like that. So that's lovely. And then the sleeves, can you see? So it's kind of like it's got one sleeve with that nice shiny material. And then on top, it's got a sleeve that's like poofed out way more um, with this other kind of material, but it's different. It's not as shiny, it's a different kind of mesh. So those sleeves are really cool. Oh, wow. It's like this double layer. Oh, I'm super into that. And then at the end, it's just nice and poofy like this with both the layers of kind of material. Look, I lift it up a little bit. And so you can see this bottom layer is kind of like shiny and crinkly. And then this top is more like your kind of standard mesh that they have. And it's got quite lovely lace on the edging as well. The feel on the inside, it does feel nice and smooth. I can't find this blouse on my cart so oh my gosh I, I'll have to find the link from my friend because clearly I wanted it and I sent the link to my friend um, I just must have not saved it to my cart um, since I only have one of it I feel like it's definitely more expensive than the other blouses I'd probably peg it around maybe $15 or something like that um, because it just it clearly has a lot more work going into it and it is very beautiful but um yes I'll put that price up on the screen when I find it out next up I got these which are hard for you to see what they are so they are just white tights with little love heart prints on them I got these from like Aliexpress a million years ago and I absolutely love them and so of course whatever is on Aliexpress is going to be on Taobao for a fraction of the price because that's where all of these things come from really they just up the price because you know they're giving you some English and shipping I guess um but yes I love these tights I have worn them for years and years and years so cute the only thing is is that um my legs are too long for them or they're I 
yeah, they're, they're just short. They really suit shorter legs. And so um, the top of it is often, you can see it like on my thigh, if I'm wearing something like way shorter, which isn't a problem in Lolita generally. But um, yeah, they the crotch sags down. That's what I want to say. But when you pop like bloomers on top, it kind of lifts it up and um, it helps them feel more comfortable. Um, that does not put me off getting these tights. I, I love them and I'm happy I got some more because I'd ruined all of my old ones. And so these ones cost a dollar US each. I'm gonna do accessories next before we get on to the big ticket items. Starting with these, <gasps> so cute. I'm pretty sure these are my wrist cuffs that I got which are gonna suit that cinema roll um, theme. The packaging is gorgeous. I love the little bunny. And then on the back it says, for you, because you are special, I want to see your face with a smile. That's very sweet. Ooh, they kept this. It says fragrance, but it's full of those little beads that keep things dry. I always keep these um, and stash them in my stuff. So yeah, it's handy. So you can see it has a couple layers of lace, this really sweet baby blue bow, which is gonna suit all of the blues and little fuzzy like tail. I'm pretty sure these and another thing that I got, they're like, you know, for a bunny coordinate kind of thing, but the like fuzzy white fuzziness of them, you know, totally suits Cinema Roll. Can you see him well? Let me just shift his face. Um, yeah, they totally suit the theme that I'm going for, I think. Oh, and they're really fuzzy and soft. They're so nice. The lace itself feels good on the skin. It's not itchy. Mm, and it's just, it's the elastic that's touching me actually. So it just kind of feels like elastic. And it's got two layers of lace, which is very cute. And I really like the little silhouette that they give. They are, <laughs> sorry if you're awkward. They, um, they have nice poof, which is very sweet. Next up is the choker. It's a very cute bag as well. It just says, for you, with some lace. Oh, did I tell you how much those wrist cuffs were? No. <laughs> Hmm, I didn't save them again. And same with this choker. I don't I don't think no, that's not on my list either. Um, oops. Okay, well I'll put the price on screen for you. They must have been dear. I mean, they must have not been dear for me to actually buy them. <laughs> and this is it. Ah, this is a very cute choker. It's just this sweet lace with that really light baby blue ribbon kind of like looping throughout the lace which I really adore, that totally matches, you know, the shoe details, which is very cute. And then the middle just has a little bow with a little drippy down bead. So, ooh, I think that's gonna be very sweet. And of course it just clasps with your old typical little clasp. I forget what they're called. I buy them sometimes, I should know. But yes, I think that is gonna be very sweet with the coordinate. My last accessory is a head piece, a headdress, I suppose. Um, oh, and it has some writing. Wishing you peace and happiness. I adore it when they have just little nice messages. I don't know, they make me happy. Ooh, this is it. Oh, I thought it was like a stiff headband. Ooh, okay. So these, actually, I cannot take credit, my friend found them and sent them to me and said these would suit a Cinema Roll cord so much because she knew I was really like keen to get a Cinema Roll coordinate. So this is it here, it's one of those like flat headdresses, you know, kind of haha maxi pad style as we like to joke, and it has these little ears. So these were um, for a bunny coordinate, or like that was the theme they were going for, but come on man, those are totally some cinema roll ears in my opinion and yeah so the way that this attaches this is just like casual and floppy and you actually hook on like with a clasp where you want the ears so that's very cool so i guess i just put it like this and then i oh, oh it's already cute um put it on like this and then i would like clasp in the ears so they kind of poke out a little bit i think these are perfect for a cinema roll cord Oh my gosh, thank you so much, my lovely friend. Ooh, ooh, I've just noticed. Oh my gosh, they have wire in the ears. So you can pose them. Like I could just have it like vertical kind of. Oh my gosh. 
Wow, that is really cool detail. The ears are super soft and lovely. They just, they feel like a plushie, you know, so nice. And then this is the detail of the headdress itself. So it has that, is it the, yeah, the blue material underneath and then like white lace crisscrossing in front of it. And then it has two layers. No, no, just one layer of this kind of ruffly lace around here, um, but it's really nicely pleated. It looks really thick and lush. The blue bows are very cute, and then it's got these hanging down strings, which I suppose you could probably tie it like under your chin perhaps, or behind your hair, or like maybe even loop it into your hair, something cute. I love this headdress. Oh my gosh, this is better than I even dreamed it would be. It's perfect. So this gorgeous headdress works out at $6.10 US. So next up I got a new wig. Ooh, um, and so this is to suit my cinema roll um, coordinate. And I thought this wig was from the place that I bought my last Lolita wigs from, you know, in my last haul video. Um, and it turns out it's not from them. So I don't know what the quality is gonna be like on this because she was cheap as, I don't even need to check my phone. It was 16 US, oh gosh, no, it was 16 New Zealand dollars. So what is that US? I will check. So it works out at uh, nine US dollars. So this is it here. Ba -ba -da -bum. So packaged nicely just in the bag and then it's got that cardboard around the edge so it doesn't get crushed. And then it also comes with a wig cap. All right, so we will open it up together. So the blue is darker than I wanted perhaps, but it looks like the photo, so I can't complain at all to be honest. Let's see, hang on. Cute. I adore this wig and I'm so into short wigs now. They just, they show off the like, you know, top of your like blouse and coordinates so much better, so much nicer um, and they're just, so much less of a hassle. Oh my gosh, I can like flip my hair around and um, like the brush goes through it easy as. They don't not like, I cannot recommend it short wigs enough. Um, so this one looks very cute and it might be a deeper blue or different shade of blue than I kind of anticipated, but I think it's still very nice. Like if I hold up my shoe, you can see what I mean. Like she goes into kind of a navy blue even though it's really still quite light. Um, definitely a different tone, but I feel like it's still gonna work really nicely. And to be honest, this wig would work really well in a cinema roll cord if I don't like this wig with it. Um, but I adore the look of this wig. So it does just have bangs in the front. And something else I've noticed, which isn't the case with a lot of wigs. Wow, that's quite cool. So they have like, can you see the hairline there? It's got like this latex, which looks like skin underneath, which is fabulous because my wigs, which have a little bit of a parting and you can just kind of see the lace underneath. Then you can see my like jet black hair underneath that. And it's like dark brown, it's not black black, I suppose. But in this wig, like if I hold it this way, you can kind of see where that silicone starts and then it goes down into the lace, which doesn't matter at this point because this is where the, it's kind of visible from the hairline. So that's amazing. That's really, I don't think I've, I've noticed any of my other wigs have that before. That's a really cool detail. Next item, so this is the second to last item and I'm very excited for this. Okay, so let's open it up. It's got one of these fabulous bags. Ooh, you know, with the zip. I always, I keep these, I keep everything to be honest. I am a hoarder, um, but I love keeping these bags. They are very handy for all kinds of things. So. I got myself, finally, and this is like only, let me see, yeah, this is the third uh, piece of outerwear that I will own for Lolita Fashion. For being in the fashion for so long, it's taken me a while. Um, so yes, let's, let's do it. Ooh, fuzzy. Oh, ooh, oh, it comes with some ribbon, okay. And a pink or rose pink kind of ribbon, cute. Oh, and a pin! No way! Oh my gosh, look at this! This was this was totes not part of the design. This must be just like a little freebie present. Are you ready? Oh my gosh! It's a little ghost and he's like, oh, oh, oh my, oh. That is so cute. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my 
gosh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's, let me show you. Can you see that moth that's just jumped onto my um my screen? <laughs> He, he had his wings open and they, he like just landed and I thought there was a huge bug behind me. Okay, sorry about that. This is everything. This, oh my gosh. Okay, happy. So happy. Let's get back to the actual thing I bought, I suppose. <laughs> and this is it. Can you, where am I? Can you see? Ah, so it's a little like cropped, fuzzy, like jumper. I, what's the word? I don't know. Cardigan maybe? Oh wow, it's so cute. Okay, and this, let's, let's, okay, I don't know where to start. Okay, so here are the sleeves. They are fuzzy and they're kind of, uh, you know, sewn to be bigger at the end. Yes, this is a good angle. So you can see how it's kind of like, you know, they're going to be like bow sleeves. I think they're, are they three quarters? Mm, I have sh I have long arms, so they're gonna be roughly three quarters on me. This part is not elastic; it just is what it is. But it's really fuzzy. It's got like different kind of fuzzy lining right here, and a little bit of lace as well to make the edging like quite pretty. So that's the sleeve. This is back to the front. Can you see the bottom has like scalloped edging? Very cute. I adore the scalloped edging. It's so soft and there's a lot of fuzz. <sighs> oh, sun's in my face. I probably have to like, what am I saying? Pat it down outside to get rid of some of this like loose fuzz. It's not too much, but I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little bit is coming off it. So at the top it has some lace again around the edging and then on the back you see this little cute bow made of the same material and so this is sewn on you can't detach it but it's very sweet so this panel that you can kind of see here I remember the picture now so they had this ribbon kind of laced up like crisscrossy over the panel so if I wanted to wear the panel I feel like I could get some blue ribbon and it would go perfectly with the coordinate but otherwise this panel is detachable by little like dome buttons Let's do this. And it's three domes on each side. Oh gosh, I can't count. It's four domes on each side. And so here's the panel. Ooh, fuzzy. My cats will probably eat that if I leave it around. <laughs> and then it's kind of just an open little cardigan fuzzy vest. Ooh, and you can see the lining on the inside a little bit better now. And so it's just nice shiny kind of material on the inside. And this is how I'll probably wear it um, without that bit in the middle because I can't be bothered I'm doing this all the time. Maybe for some photos I'll pop it in, it will be cute. But yes, just this kind of overcoat. I guess. I feel like I don't know the right word to describe it. Um, but this is really cute and really soft. This was 22 US dollars. But yes, this is my lovely new overcoat piece, which is going to go with loads of coordinates, no doubt. But I really wanted it for my cinema roll theme because the sleeves are poofy. I'll be nice and fuzzy, you know, very much as cinema roll vibes. Oh, can you see my shirt? Maybe you can see how much fuzz it's left on me. It's actually shed like a fair amount. So it definitely, I feel like my camera might not focus now. It might focus on the fuzz. It definitely needs a good hang outside on the clothes line so it can just get rid of all of the loose fur. Um, so yeah, I don't know, open it outside maybe. Um, okay, we're on to the lucky, sorry, there's some on my face. We're on to the lucky last item. Oh man, I lie. One more item before showing you the dress. <laughs> um, and I know what these are. They're socks. So it says I have to cut this with scissors. Why? Ooh, no I don't, okay. <laughs> what an interesting bag. It's kind of like this, it's like paper, but it has been then coated in plastic as well. What a shame. Um, cute little bear on the front though, he's lovely. And so these are little lacy socks, which are the cutest thing ever. You will see them, ooh, hard to open. Man, what intense packaging for socks. But yeah, they're little lacy socks, which just look so sweet and adorable with Lolita coordinates. Ooh, here they are. So this one has that cardboard in, so you can kind of see the material. And they will arrive like just under the knee. Oh, wow, it's precious. 
So it has a little like love heart shaped like pearl button in the middle and then it has a little bow to go with it and then just some lace and the pattern on the on the sock itself it's probably easy for you to see it on my skin more. So if you can see <laughs> the pattern it's like love hearts kind of thing. Yes love hearts and you can imagine it now if it was my foot. It looks it looks very cute, very sweet, nice and soft. It's not rough or anything. Ooh, and this top part actually is very soft. So on the inside, they've kind of done this like it feels like tights, that kind of soft material around there. So that's quite lovely. Oh, these are very sweet. I forgot I had these, but I love them. Mm. And so these socks here were three US dollars. Okay, now we're on to the dress, yay! And so, you can really see here, it is gingham, which is so cute. Comes in another one of these fabulous zip bags. Very cool. Ooh. Oh wow, it feels really nice and heavy. Ooh. Oh, it's very precious. Let me just do up the, the straps so I can hold it up for you guys. So it does up with, oh, it's got three. There's three little buttonholes that you can attach the, the sleeve onto the dress. So that's quite nice having different options like that. That's amazing. Oh, it's so cute. So this is it here. So it is a JSK. It's got really lovely, like poofy little rouged sleeves, which is amazing. This is the front of the dress. And then all the way to the bottom. So the front is quite lovely. You can see some bows up the middle. It has little like pearlescent, uh, what are they, buttons? <laughs> little pearlescent buttons and lace on either side of the strip up the middle, which is very cute. The bottom half of this dress gives the illusion of like several layers, um, but these do not lift up. It just has lace like sewn in at these different areas which just make it look very cute and poofy. It has a couple accents of lace coming down the front or like a couple strips of it which look very sweet. I do adore those and it is the same on the back with those couple strips of lace for detail down the back. This lace here is like polka dotty if you can kind of see the texture on there. It's like little raised polka dots which is very cute. It suits this lace down the front um, because this also has like little polka dots kind of on it as well which is cute. Oh I just noticed the like bows they have a little bit of like flower in the middle. The back is fully sheared which is wonderful if we look at the extension on this dress that is amazing that is really great. So um, this was a size medium. Yeah, I'm 100% sure I got size medium. Um, so yes, this will definitely be fitting me. And ooh, it has one of my favorite details. I'm wearing it right now. Little cross strap straps at the front. Oh, that will be very sweet. I really, I adore uh, cross strap detail. I don't know, it just gives me like quintessential, <laughs> quintessential Lolita vibes. Do you see it here? Mm, very sweet and then the waist ties it does have some let's see yep the waist ties are sewn into place and they are just that it's not like a big waist bow it's just some little ties to kind of cinch you in and give you a little cute shape so this dress is in fact just the two layers this top layer and then underneath it has little like a slip as well which is lovely and soft so yeah all that weight I guess it's just in the skirt. It's really quite amazing. It feels really lovely. There is no zip on this dress, so it's amazing that it does have all of this shearing. You'll be able to jump into it nice and easy, and there are no pockets as well, which is very common. But um, yeah, it's a gorgeous dress. Sweet, so that is the whole haul. And now, of course, I'm going to try on for you. I'm gonna try on the pieces that I wanted to like make the cinema roll uh, coordinate with. And um, yeah, I'll show you how it looks. I'm very excited. Um, you know when you're making a coordinate online, you have to like put all the pictures together and you're like, mm, yes, I think this will go together. Um, yeah, it can be very difficult to do, that's for sure, because some things just, they look different on the internet, don't they? I mean, like most people, I suppose. Um, 
but yes, so I'm going to chuck everything on and show you guys the final result for my first Sonora Roll cord, I guess. <laughs> so yes, I'll see you soon. So this is it guys, oh my gosh, the whole coordinate. This is just my plushie from before, but I feel like I'll be holding him when I'm wearing all of this. So this is it, this is it. I love the wig. Okay, so I haven't trimmed the bangs, they're too long, and I haven't glued it um, to my face on the sides, which I normally like to do. So I feel like it doesn't sit as nicely when you don't do that. Um, whoops, I was just a bit lazy. But I think the wig is sweet as. I feel like I wasn't sure about the blue initially, but it's really nice having like this deeper blue in amongst all these other blues. I think, yeah, I think the wig is a score. I was, yeah, a little bit worried. It wasn't going to suit, but I think she's lovely. So I ended up going for one of the little Peter Pan blouses. And I realized when I was putting it on, you know that button I was showing you heaps? Um, yeah, it's meant to go at the back, obviously, perhaps. Um, okay, so yeah, it's at the back now. So the front is really nice and like tidy without having that little button there. Um, so it definitely looks a lot cuter. I love it. Um, so yeah. This, this is it. Here are the wrist cuffs. I'll totally do some far away shots for you to be able to see the whole coordinate because with the shoes, it's just, it's everything. Um, I need some rings and stuff. My hands are always a little bit nude, aren't they? Um, but yeah, the ears, the ears are perfect. So I kind of tilted them because since they have the wire, I kind of tilted them outwards. So they're kind of like this. And look at that. I mean, they were sold for like a bunny coordinate, but come on. It's like sheer perfection. I think this is the perfect cinema roll cord. Um, you can see I have the cross straps and my little choker going on and it leaves quite a nice amount of space here that I'm definitely going to make like a cinema roll necklace. Um, so I'll make that probably out of clay and resin and stuff like that. I do love creating things. Um, so I think it's quite a nice space for a big yeah, cinema roll necklace, um, which is fabulous. When I wear this out and about, I'm gonna pair it with my cinema roll bag. So this one's just from my Japan haul, um, which I love it. It's very well used. I need to be careful her or his ears are bending a little bit. But um, yes, yeah, so I'll have like a bag in one hand and then I'll have plushie in the other. Mm, it's gonna be perfect. You might notice my tags. Um, I keep the tags on like my official plushies. I don't know why, maybe I should take them off. Anyways. I love everything about the coordinate. The dress could have been a size small, to be honest, um, because I have it on like the smallest uh, button setting on the straps, and it still feels like whoop, a little bit loose, eh? Um, so it's okay. Uh, when I went to buy the dress, it only came in medium, and I was just looking at it now because I realized I forgot to tell you how much it was. I'll put it on the screen um, because I can't tell how much it was because uh, it's sold out now. So I'll have to like figure that out um, from my, my spending. But yeah, so it's a shame that it has sold out. Um, but yeah, it's a very lovely dress. I really adore the amount of like shoulder I'm getting with these um, with these sleeves here. And yeah, I think it suits this blouse quite perfectly because it's quite I don't know, subtle a little bit. I did try on with that other blouse, the one that had like kind of double layer uh, sleeves, uh, but it wasn't my jam. It looked really funny with the, the collar. It was just too low for the cross strap to be able to go across, across. <laughs> um, and I adore the cross strap. I think it just, mm, yes, like I mentioned, it's one of my favorite things. Um, so yeah, I suppose I will, um, yeah, move the camera back on up and show you guys the full outfit. So I'm just under a tree because it's actually like lightly raining. Um, yes, so hopefully you can see the outfit. My camera died, so we are trying this again. Yay! Hello, cat cat. <laughs> can you see him?
15. He's gorgeous. Anyways, bye! And so that's it guys, that is the haul and the try on. Oh my gosh, I, I love this more than anything. I have to say it's like my favorite coordinate, full stop now. It used to be that strawberry one, which you guys got to see last time. Um, and I guess she's a second now because this, this is everything. I'm really, I love sax, I love a cinema roll. It's perfection. I think it worked out really well. But um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me while I was getting used to talking to the camera again. I feel like we got there in the end and I was just chatting like usual, like just you and me. Oops, hair. <laughs> Just like usual, I suppose. Um, but I was really, yeah, I was nervous in the beginning. Um, so yeah, I, I really appreciate you being here and hopefully sticking around during that time that I didn't post anything for yonks. Yeah, man, the world, a lot's going on, isn't it? And um, yeah, I'm sending all of my love and warm fuzzies to you and I hope you're doing well and I hope your family's doing well. My family lives overseas um, in Argentina, so, you know, yeah, man, she's tough. She's tough at the moment, isn't it? Um, so yeah, just thank you for watching. <laughs> Am I, I'm not crying. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just happy and I'm happy you're here with me. So yes, shame. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm going to see you next time and hopefully that's a lot sooner. I, um, I'll try my best. So yeah, goodbye.